A traffic stop shut down a busy roadway when a suspicious package was found and just blocks away more law enforcement activity on Oxford Road. A lot of people wondering what is going on just outside the gates of Fort Jackson for the very latest. We're going to check in with News 19's Alicia in the office. Alicia, what'd you find out for us? Well, Andrea, this started earlier this afternoon on Fort Jackson Boulevard under I-77, close to one of the entrances of Fort Jackson. We learned members of the Richland County Sheriff's Department Fugitive Task Force pulled over a white van and arrested a man who was inside of that car. We're still waiting to hear why the man was pulled over, but officials say they arrested him without incident. Investigators tell us as they made the arrest, they found a package inside of the van they believed was suspicious. Fort Jackson officials tell us it was a suspected pipe bomb. That's when Richland County called in the bomb squad and shut down one lane on Fort Jackson Boulevard. As that was happening, more deputies and members of Richland County's tactical unit flooded a nearby neighborhood, probably one and a half to two minutes away in the 4,000 block of Oxford Road near Kilburn. Neighbors tell us law enforcement came knocking at about 2.30, telling everyone to get out because they believed an explosive could be inside of a home on this block. Officials later told us the man who was arrested during the traffic stop off Fort Jackson lives in the home. Another neighbor tells us he walked outside to see two snipers on each side of the street who eventually closed in on the home. Neighbors also say they witnessed one lady walk out of the house in question and the scene has since cleared. Now officials say there's no threat to the public and they did give the all clear. The scene here in the 4000 block of Oxford Road cleared shortly after 4 o'clock this afternoon. Investigators are still waiting to figure out the man's identity. As soon as they learn that information, they'll pass it along to us and we'll let you know. But for now, I'm live in Southeast Columbia. Alicia Niaves, News 19, WLTX. Alicia, thank you so much. Columbia.